I guess I could sum it up pretty nicely. Um, the uh, assistant principal and I had a conversation about how there was no senior prank. And uh, the assistant principal thought it was because the class was such a good bunch of kids. And uh, I thought it was because they were just too disorganized and self-centered to worry about ever coming together and pulling any kind of a prank. And uh, his reply was, whatever the reason, uh, at least there was no prank. So I guess that kind of sums things up. Uh, they're not a bad group of kids. They're they're just not uh, not the uh, the go-getters that uh, I think the public is led to believe. Bethany, great graders there. It's double gems. Yeah, it's a twenty percent. I just guessed that all these do. Well, we had fourteen valedictorians. And I think that's uh, 13 too many, number one. But I, I really think that certain members of our administrative staff think that that is some kind of point of pride, that we have so many kids doing so well. And they talk about how 51% of our students are on the honor roll and what an effective job we are doing. And all I think of is great inflation. All I think of is uh, how anybody with any kind of sense would see that and realize that there's something very unusual and probably uh, somewhat misguided going on in the district. I can't. That's bad. <laughs> Caitlin! What did you say? I can't. The worst test that we've ever done. Yay! The PR is, you know, uh, every other district around has only got one valedictorian, but we have 14, so we're somehow 14 times better. Whoa, oh, sweet. Jim, I beat you. There seems to have been a trend somewhere in the last 20 years, like I said, that uh, if we make students feel good about themselves, then they will be more receptive to learning. And, you know, so we have to boost their self esteem and just allow them to express themselves regardless of the manner in which they do so. And that will somehow, you know, uh, cause them to become better learners and I I don't know I disagree I, I really think if you really look at it the best leaders sometimes and, and the most successful people uh, don't have very high self-esteem uh, and they've really driven themselves to be where they're at and to be truly successful because they had to uh, uh, you know build up their own character Pat yeah. come here it's horrible. I've had kids tell me that my job is to make them feel good and I shouldn't be critical of them and I shouldn't uh, do anything but be, you know, nice to them and, and, and I just, the thought is just so foreign to me and so backward. Um, my job is to be critical. My job is to assess them. My job is to teach them and then figure out how much they've learned.